Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is plus 15 degrees today. Already this early in the morning. Hi Ben. Hi. You've been laying down. This girl really likes it, uh, her, her stall. She always is covered in shavings. It's like, she must like, like a full rubber head in there. I also see a cat up there. Did you guys see it? Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today is an exciting one because we're doing exactly what we did yesterday. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm so sorry about all the penny footage. Like, I don't know what our channel has become other than all of us riding penny all the time. Oh my goodness. Molly. Oh, hi Gabby. Hi. Um, that will go away, I promise. Life will even out. Soon it'll be winter. Back it up. You always back it up. Good girl. Good girl. Did you guys see the... the yeah, there's cats. One was up there a minute ago. She has shavings all over her. Welcome to the barn, family. Little Miss Daisy. Just let her close the door and let her go. Close the door and let her go. She's got to learn to run around. She's got to learn to do stuff. She's got to learn to behave. She remembers from yesterday. No, she is not. Yes, she does. Look at her. She's afraid. She doesn't know. Like, am I supposed to come? Good girl. See, this is what we want. We just want her to like kind of stick with us down here. We don't know what she actually wants to do. Who'd you find? Lexi. Lexi. Oh, so I saw Ollie. Ollie was climbing above oh, hi, Lexi. Daisy's stall. Willows are great. Oh, look at her little face there. She's like, haha, I want to. Oh, she's really friendly. She wants to, us to sound <laughs> beyond. She wants to come down and see us, but the dogs, those pesky dogs. No, she ran away from me. Oh, did she? Yeah. Today is riding lessons with Brandon, so we'll be at the other barn. Whenever there's like two days goes by and we don't see the other horses, I always get anxiety. This morning I was trying to think like, why do I have that anxiety when we don't see them? And I think it's because at one of our other barns, sometimes we would go there and things would feel like wrong. Like remember when Storm got cut? We found him with blood. I found it. Yeah, remember that? Surprise. Like that makes me nervous. Makes me anxious. Look at that hat going out first. Yesterday she spooked at a ball. And Gracie didn't even spook at it. Okay. All right, so uh, we are gonna let the ponies out. Gabby has an order. It is Gracie, then Willow, then Penny. I kind of wonder if it's in the order of what she loves best. Who she loves best. Willow. She always has such a dirty face. You're always a mess, Penny. Like, I don't know where you came from. You're always a mess. All right, I don't like her to go out there all covered in shavings, looking like nobody cares about her. No. All right, holy moly. You are covered. Like, honestly, you guys, this girl loves her bed. No, I don't like letting her run out. I know we've done it in the past. Storm and runs out. I know, but I don't like her to because I feel like we're still in that Aww. stage of learning each other. No, she's a really good horse and she listens well, but I, I want, to, I like leading her, you guys. All right. Well, she's going to sell on all the hay. All right, that's as much as I can get off you. All right, look at that face. Look at that face. Wait. My horse is just following me around, especially Tina. She's not a runner. You see that? Who be the boss today? There's, I put bigger piles of hay down at the end for you, Penny. Why don't you go down there? Yeah. Oh, she listens. She's like, oh, I will go to the bigger piles. And crazy comes to Gabby. She's like, save me from the beast. But she's not a very bad beast. Good job, I'm Willow. Saving her from Willow. So the last few days I've been giving them like extra hay to keep them so that they until they get used to each other. It's a tactic that some trainers do. Don't come at me. It's just something to help keep the peace while they're getting used to each other. Um, so now I have to cut back a little. I hate that. I wish they could just eat as much hay as they wanted and be healthy. So some things that you guys don't know about Penny that I haven't had a chance to explain are that her old owner said, Penny's old owner said that she felt she'd been mistreated along the way. And the reason that is is because Penny has some behaviors 
some things that she does that makes you realize that things have not always gone exactly perfect for her. And she also has some marks on her body that make me think that she's had a, a cinch or a girth tightened really tight. She's got some pressure spots where the girth goes and also across her nose. So she she resists a lot of things. Like she, she, she resists a bit. Um, there's just a ton of things. Like when you sit on her, she just flies and just goes, which um, makes me feel like that's what people have done to her before. Jumped on and kicked and just wanted to fly around on her. Not necessarily an abusive background, but, but potentially an environment where um, it has been hard on her calm soul. She's a, she's a quiet soul, you guys, and that kind of training probably wouldn't have been um, as easy for her as for a stronger horse. So um, those are the things that we're going to try and work on with her and with our trainer when we finally get together with my trainer. But um, already I've seen like massive improvements. It's hard for you guys to know because you didn't really get to see you guys have never really ridden her so like when we get on her now when we used to get on she used to zoom off right even you can even see it in the trial she used to zoom off now when we got off she just sits there calm and quiet and she so she's learning and she's done doing better with the saddle she's doing better with us with her girthiness like she's doing better in a lot of different ways so i'm really proud of that it's going to be a process though and we're going to make mistakes you guys have seen a lot of the mistakes that we've already made and i showed you guys in yesterday's video how i suck at the bip i learned yesterday i learned a lot better and i'm just going to continue to learn we're going to experiment with a lot of things we're going to experiment with bits and tack and we're just going to figure everything out and then in a year and a half We'll probably have a totally different penny and she's pretty perfect already so i can't even imagine what's going to happen after she gets to know us Daisy, come. Come. Come here, Daisy. Good, girl. good girl so much better this little puppy is kind of really starting to get things good girl yeah, her lack of knowledge at this stage is because it's due to human error, not anything and to do with her. We don't have any good, any good treats. To She's doing it great without treats. You can get an apple and cut it up. We have lots of apples. Daisy, Daisy, pull her. Daisy, come here. No, come here. Come, come. Good girl. People keep asking me about. The giveaways, are they done? They are not done. I have to deal with this before I can give any more away. I chose the worst time ever to do the giveaway because there's just been so much going on. People underestimate the amount of work that I do each day. I really believe that. Like homeschool, YouTube. YouTube is a huge part of our day. Uh, then we have horses to take care of, dogs to take care of, dogs to train, horses to train, dog, puppy. Like, and there's even more like there's just so much but anyway I'm just making excuses I have to get this done first my last giveaways I'm going to order from the company and send it to the winners but because we're international I am like trying to figure all that out but like I said every day is so busy around this house that I'm struggling for time management but I'm gonna get there you guys just give me time I promise you're headed out and um, I don't know if I told you guys this but after so I had three sons by a previous relationship and then I met Sam and then Sam and I were together for a long time I don't know like seven years or six years a lot of years before we end, ended up having Gabby but I remember there was a time there was this time when we weren't planning to have a when we weren't planning to have a baby and my kids were all in school and I worked full time and I worked at midnight shift so I was alone a lot during the day after I woke up. And I remember going to the gym five days a week. I went to the gym five days a week, you guys. I was a size five. I was in really good shape. I'm like a size 12 right now. So um, I cut my grass all the time. My gardens were beautiful. We had these hedges around our property and I cut those all the time. And my grass would grow, I would cut it, and then I would let it grow for two days. And then on the third day, I would cut it again. And I'd be out there and I'd be cutting the grass and I would be like so mad inside and I'd be so frustrated inside. And, and I remember cutting the grass and saying like, God, I don't know what you want me to do. Like what, what is it that you have planned for me? Because I felt, even though I had this very fulfilled life, 
I felt like I was missing something huge. Like there, I just, I didn't have anything to do, I guess. I had all this time and I felt unfulfilled and I didn't know why and I couldn't figure it out and I kept on praying and praying and be and saying like God you need to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing right now and I worked on my spirituality so much back then I think that's a big key is that you can't really do a lot of emotional work on yourself unless you have time so fast forward years went by and Sam and I decided to have a baby and we had Gabby and the minute Gabby was born the minute they gave her to me I knew that feeling of fulfillment like I knew that that's what I was meant to be doing I knew and it just wasn't the right timing when I was feeling like I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing it wasn't the right timing yet for God to show me what I was meant to do but the minute I had Gabby I felt so much better so much more fulfilled and I've never ever felt that feeling of not knowing what I'm supposed to do since then except that now that I have Penny, I have the exact same feeling that I had when they gave Gabby to me. It's the exact same feeling. Like, it's just insane how, it's just insane how when you do things with God, it's such a different feeling than when you just go off half-cocked and do things on your own. Like, I'm, I'm an expert at half-cocked, so I know what I'm talking about, you guys. When you do things with God, when you let go and do things with God, it's such a different experience. But anyway, we're headed out. We're going to do another ex experience. We are going saddle shopping for me. All right, we're here and we have the puppies with us. We got Molly and we have Baby Daisy. And what they do so Baby is Molly seeing the vent. Mom. Yeah, Molly fell in love with the vents on the way here. It is like spring outside, you guys. 18 degrees by my car calculation. That's glorious degrees. All right, letter P. Yeah. All right, let's go in and try my saddle. I don't know if it's the exact right one. I think it is, though. Holly's here. Look at how the difference in size. Like, like Molly shrunk. Yeah, it's like Molly shrunk. Did you scare her? So Molly already remembers the day that Holly is her friend. And we are already destroying the store. Sophie, keep control of your dog. There we go. Aw, look at how calm Daisy is though. She's scared of all of them. No, don't pee. Daisy gets the elevator treatment down the stairs. Oh. Aw. I didn't know which one which. People are still saying that we did not socialize Molly enough. Isn't that crazy? Like, we've done everything we possibly could. She has friends at every place she we go. She just gets too excited. Yeah. I want her to be this big. I want her to be as big as Holly. Molly. You have big boots to fill there, Molly. Look how Holly's calm her baby. Alright, let's hit the clearance section. It's like this clearance. These are Sophie's favorite some of Sophie's favorite breeches and they're on sale for forty bucks. I don't think that's it. No, it's not Okay, so I've kind of been researching what I need and what I want. The brown thing. This is cute. I mean, I don't like the color. I just like how big it is. What thing? Yeah. Alright. Is it this no. one? No. No. For anybody who's just tuning in, I... Oh, I found it. This is it. I think this is it. Uh, okay, so I don't think this is the one. It, the one specifically that I want... Uh-oh. Oh, I cannot tell if this is the right one. No, for some reason, don't think that it is. I like these too. These are like, you put them on your saddle and then it makes it soft and fluffy and keeps you kind of warm in the winter. Not everybody would want one probably, like depending on where you are. But I would want one because I'm that kind of girl. All right, so I'm going to try, I'm going to show you guys. Definitely, this is a 16. I definitely think I need a 17, but the saddle that is for the gated horses has a narrow twist. This this saddle is really wide. I also really like this saddle. It's kind of a little bit English too as well. Yeah, I love stock saddles. So, and it kind of looks like a stock saddle at the front. What is this one called? Um, that's just their, this is their Aussie saddle. Yeah, those, yeah, it's so similar to the Australian stock saddle. This one's comfier. Way comfier, right? Eh? Put your feet in. Okay, so I didn't get to video very much because the lady was there helping us, which I'm really grateful the lady was there helping us because I need the help, you guys. But I don't know. So the saddle that they had in was not 
specifically, so it's a Flex 2, but then in each Flex 2 is a different variety. So there's a Flex 2 called the Julie Goodnight that is made for gated horses, specifically for Tennessee walking horses. So that was not that saddle, so she could order it for me, but if she ordered it for me, I'd have to buy it, regardless of whether it fit, because nobody, like not everybody wants a gated Tennessee walking horse saddle, so it'd be hard for her to sell it. And I did not love the feel of the saddle. I so uncomfy. I, I hated it. You hated both of them? Yes. Okay, so the Australian stock saddle that I've been wanting that comes in an adjustable gullet. I love it. I loved how it felt. I loved everything about it. That's the saddle I've been wanting to get. So now I'm going to go home and I'm going to research the whole thing and I'm probably going to end up buying that one if it works out for me. So the brown one. Yeah. Anyway, let's go home. Sam's home apparently early. Dad's home early? Yeah. How come? Don't know. Alright, we're going home. Sam had to let my horse in tonight because I'm trying to get catch up on last minute editing. How was my horse, Sam? Good. I just put the halter up and she stuck her head right into it and I let her into the barn. And the other two ponies followed behind and went in their stall. Our horses are good. Our horses are well behaved. But the thing about Penny is that she had such good training before us. Like some bad training obviously because she has some issues. But such good ground manners. Like she's just an amazing horse. I'm so grateful to have her. Anyway, today's vlog went to bed. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I just run and run and run and run. And then one day it'll just all catch up on me. And when I got back from the tack store, Sam was home early. And... I was like, I, I just need to sleep, and I never sleep. I've never been a daytime sleeper, but I just felt like I needed to sleep so bad. And so I went upstairs and I laid down. I probably slept for about 20 minutes. That's all I need. If that this ever happens to me, I need like a 20 minute cat nap, and then I'm good to go. But I always feel kind of groggy after. Like I wake up and I'm, I feel better. Like I don't have a headache. Like I sometimes get that sick feeling from being overtired. And I don't have that anymore, but I feel a little groggy. So we are headed to the barn now. We're I racing you to the barn. Me though. I was told Gabby if she acts sassy in lessons, I'll pull her off her horse. <laughs> she said, what'd you say? I doubt you could reach me. I doubt you could reach me. The sass is already beginning. Um, at the tax store today, I saw like the horse, like your horse size, what size of blanket would probably fit them, but you should measure just to make sure. And there was no 16.3, there was only 16.2. I feel like we haven't seen them for days. And it's only been, not yesterday, but the day before. Ooh, you better get going. You got your work cut out for you. Maybe you guys should do it in the stalls because there's so many people here. Finn, you be looking fatter. He looks like a different horse. Isn't that weird how that happens though? Kaylee's not coming to lessons tonight because she's feeling sick. Oh, is that how you scratch your neck? Yes. Interesting. Okay, Gabby, get get tacked up there. I'm not look. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little guilty. I feel guilty. Like I feel so much guilt. Like we come three times a, a week, and then we come. Gabby rides on on a trail each week. So I don't know. I wish we could be here more though. All right. So this is Gary. He's riding in our lesson. You guys see him in some of the lessons. <laughs> He likes to eat his owner. <laughs> so he basically loves to eat his owner. This is this. <laughs> yeah. He's like, your head looks really yummy today. <laughs> Every day we go through this. Every day. It's really love, love bites. Uh oh. You're being in a good mood. That's what my mare does with those ears. Yeah, except you're gilding. You're not gonna be like that. <laughs> Don't do it, Gary. Hello. Yeah, he's a redhead. They can you do it any time. Yeah, but Paige has got red hair. <laughs> A red hair riding a red head? Now that is a problem. Yeah, Gary, that's like <laughs> attitude issues. Kind of like <laughs> All right, Brandon, what did you just tell the girls? It's flat work day. It's flat work day. What else did you tell them? No syrup November. Flat it's no syrup to like November. Really and just a minute, I have to point out that Brandon has got his cute hat on today. Somebody was commenting that they're going to miss your cute summer hats. But now you get to see yeah, cute like winter home. hats. Because well, I have my hair. Like... You got your hair cut? Yeah. Ooh. Ball. So you're like hiding it with like a hat. So everybody's reaction oh, when oh, everybody's reaction when he said 
Gary. Gary's it's, not even impressed. It's a flat lesson. <laughs> they all went. He knows he's not jumping today. Yeah, oh, that's Gary. why he was mad. Everybody's face went like this. I understand. Brandon, don't you, you feel bad for them? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a fast lesson. <laughs> yeah. That is time for lessons. Wow, you can turn I'm around. Kind of matching. I have gray on. Oh yes, look at that saddle pad. Oh no, I uh, he knows Sophie. He said it after. Yeah, I said. Uh oh, look at this little horse here wants to bite everybody. So everybody lived. Uh, even Chino, even Gary, who were ridden by Brandon. Yeah, there's a new horse here, and it's a Cremello, and it is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at all those treats that this horse gets. He already had My horse had two apples. Okay. Stop giving him too many apples, Sophie, because apples are really acidic. I and didn't say too many. He could get ulcers. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the